All right. I think I packed and got everything I require for a trip. Let's go. What's up, people? I'm back. Um, just want to record a little video. Uh, I'm at the halfway point, almost close to Winston-Salem, between Winston Greensboro and Winston-Salem. And it's the halfway point. I left home at 11, 11 a.m. approximate. And I'm making a good time, a good ride. Um, I'm riding with the windows down, actually, but I put them up for this video. So, yeah. Good trip, good ride. I feel good. I slept good. Yeah. I had time to chill out a little bit, not not super long, but um, chill out for a little bit. So now I'm about to uh, take a shower, make a wardrobe change, and I seen this uh, rooftop spot that I want to hit called um, Acapella on Nine, I believe. Um, it's in Asheville, like 20 minutes from here. So um, about to take a shower and do this quick wardrobe change. And like that, wardrobe change done. Let's go. So I'm gonna try to shoot this video without disturbing everybody else's experience. This is the Capella 9 in Asheville. Um, Sasha right out here. Nice What an experience that was. Uh, you know, getting here, like I said, had a little, lot of nerves and jitters going on, but um, rode out to Asheville, which is like 20 miles from here, and um, had a good time walking around there. It was very pleasant. Um, this lady complimented my shirt, the shirt, and um, I was like, it's, it's Sheen, you know? She was like, Sheen? I was like, yeah, she was like, I didn't know they had that for men. I was like, yeah, they got it for men. So um, that was pretty cool too, you know. Um, getting out there and I walked around a little bit, but then it got dark and I wanted to get back here. Not being familiar with the area, so I got back here, uh, you know, just now we're just like uh, nine something. They got a bar across the way. Stopped at the bar, picked up like two Coronas, brought them back, and then that's it for the night. So, um, yeah, on to Mount Mitchell tomorrow, uh, nine o'clock. So I got to lay it down right now. 
So it is currently like seven, about seven oh seven maybe. And uh, I slept okay, you know. Um, something in the little refrigerator kept popping, so that would wake me up. And then after that, um, got a little anxious, ready to get there and go. Check out this mountain, highest peak um, east of the Mississippi. Mount Mitchell, um, just had a storm go by last night, well, early this morning, um, and I want to say uh, a storm here in the mountains, the way it echoes is, is something different. The echo of a crack of thunder, or lightning rather, um, it seems like, seems like it could cause a avalanche the way it echoes through the mountains it's different i can't even lie it's different to me it was different so that storm has passed and i'm gonna get dressed and hit the road seen a sign back there that said watch for falling rocks so and this is the Blue Ridge Parkway um look at this right here whoa look at that oh my gosh oh man this, this is oh my gosh what a view Finally made it up the mountain. Um, summit two miles ahead. I just had to get out and take a let y'all see this. It's like it's like we're in another um it's like I'm in Alaska, man. Yeah, I had to drive through this. So uh, when you come, no matter what the weather is, you want to make sure you bring a jacket, for real.
this travel video, but I'm gassed. I just hiked up this, and yeah. Now I gotta figure out my way back down. Most likely take the, um, most likely take the road. Hello. I just hiked this freaking mountain. And, um, I kicked my ass, I ain't gonna lie. But I did it. I can't believe I did it. I met this cool dude named Brian, who's from the stage in Syracuse, New York. And, um, he pushed me to climb this mountain, man. So to speak, I was killing my legs, the breathing, but I done it all just for this. High in the clouds, I can't see the mountain chain. What's up, y'all? Um, I did it. I did it. I did Mount Mitchell. Um, I made it to the summit. And guess what? I hiked it. I hiked it from here through the woods. Ah, oh, excuse me. Through the woods up strenuous rocks and stuff. And I didn't do it alone. I met this cool dude, um, <clears throat> which I'll probably wait for him, to see if he makes it back safely. You know, he used the um, the app, what's that app called? The, um, All Trails app. He used that to get us through the woods and I made it to the top. Woo! I wouldn't do that again, though. I don't think I'd do that again. <laughs> it was too much. It was too much on my body. I feel accomplished in doing it, but uh, whew, I had to keep stopping. I was I was gassed, man. The elevation, take your breath. And um, he was a cool dude, though. You know, he, he didn't leave me behind. He could have left me behind. He didn't leave me behind. <laughs> and, uh, he was born in 75. I was born in 74, so his name was Brian. So Brian's going to look me up. I got some cool pictures in my phone of me and Brian. And, um, yeah. Mount Mitchell completed. But, you know, the thing about this, we up in the clouds, man. And so high up in the clouds, I can't see nothing, man. It's not, it wasn't a great day to come out. So do I feel like driving up here tomorrow? No, I don't. So I'm not going to come back tomorrow. <laughs> uh, because the, um, the drive was a little nerve wracking too, man. You know, driving through places where it said, um, beware of falling rocks and, um, cloud cover and the two tunnels that they cut out, man. I don't know. I think I like beaches better than mountains now. I've, I've made it to the 
the top of um, Grandfather Mountain. second where Forrest Gump was running I think it was one of the first scenes when he was running he actually turned this corner right here in Grandfather Mountain so this is a little picnic area over here that they have and um yeah I think that's cool that's a pretty cool thing uh, coming down a lot easier but my leg is a little achy from riding the brake um, and I forgot to get a shirt. I got a shirt yesterday from, um, I got a shirt yesterday from, uh, Mount Mitchell, even though I couldn't see it was so much cloud cover, but I did get a shirt. When I go to these parts, I like to get some type of, um, some type of souvenir, which, um, I did get a couple of things from the gift shop. It's getting pretty busy. It's just now, um, and I'm going to pan around. There is Forrest Gump Curve. Pretty cool, pretty cool. 